Hello, this is Eric. Today is April the 2nd, 2023. And in this video, we will make a brief overview of the Old Testament. Uh, we are about to discuss uh, the Old Testament and the shadows and figures uh, used by the Old Testament writers that pointed to spiritual realities in Jesus Christ in the New Testament. Okay, and the first thing I must tell you is that uh, in this video, we're going to be using uh, the term Old Testament in its broad sense, not in its narrow sense. Eric, what do you mean by broad sense? Well, it's very simple. You can say testament or you can also say covenant, okay? Well, in, in both cases, uh, you have officially saying the onset, the beginning of the Old Testament in the book of Exodus. Let me write it here. In the book of Exodus on Mount Sinai with Moses, right? Uh, the Old Testament or the Old Covenant was uh, officially inaugurated uh, by Moses, and it was a testament, uh, a covenant involving Moses, the people of Israel, and God. So it officially started there, in Exodus, right? When the people of Israel, after having departed from Egypt, accepts uh, God's uh, conditions and establishes there with God the, uh, a testament, a covenant, which is going to be the Old Covenant. Why? Because there is going to be, uh, in Christ, a New Testament, a New Covenant that was already announced uh, by prophets like Jeremiah, for example, in the Old Testament. If you read Jeremiah 31, verses, uh, verse 31 onward, you're going to see that God uh, was already announcing in the Old Testament that He would uh, put an end to that covenant made with Israel and Moses and would establish a new covenant in Christ, right? But even so, uh, you know, Christianity uses uh, the term Old Testament for all of the books in the Old Testament, <laughs> in what we call Old Testament. And that includes, for example, everything that is uh, written in the book of Genesis, right? And before Exodus, before uh, the event in Mount Sinai described in Exodus, uh, we don't really had, uh, we don't, sorry, we didn't really have, sorry, uh, before uh, Mount Sinai, we didn't really have uh, a covenant, a testament, Right? So, uh, in the narrow sense, I mean, accurately saying, uh, before the law uh, of the Mount Sinai, there was no law. There was no covenant. There was no testament. Right? So, the correct thing would be not to, uh, to uh, point to Genesis, to the book of Genesis, and, and include it in, uh, under the, the term Old Testament. But, we are going to, uh, let's say, we're going to ignore that for now, right? And we are going to, we're going to apply the term Old Testament for the entire uh, set of books uh, comprehended, comprised, comprising, sorry, what we Christians call Old Testament, okay? And guys, this is just an overview, okay? Uh, I'm going to provide you with a link here in the in the video description uh, through which you can download uh, il an, illus an illustration Bible, right, so that it can visualize more about the books, about the stories, and so on, right? It's, it is free, you can download it, and it, it is going to help you visualize better what I'm going to say here, okay? But we need this information so that we can uh, later on in other classes understand as I had mentioned in the beginning of this video, how the, the shadows and figures in the Old Testament pointed to the reality in Jesus Christ, right? So, we have the patriarchal era, right? It comprises the whole book of Genesis. So, the whole book of Genesis, uh, well, it, it, the book of Genesis, Genesis stands for uh, beginning, 
right? So the book of Genesis starts with the uh, with a mythical narrative of creation and then recreation, as we have already studied, right? Then we have uh, the, the, the inception, let's say, of humanity, right? Of societies, of old societies, right? And that goes until uh, Noah. Then we have the flooding. After the flooding, uh, Noah and, 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 their, and, and his sons, uh, you know, they basically uh, dwell you know, on earth, and they start to multi multiply, right? And their descendants uh, will occupy, uh, you know, the earth, none at the time, okay? That goes until the Tower of Babel when, uh, we, when, we, when, we, when, when we read about uh, the rebellion of man, the first rebellion against God. So God sees that, And as a discipline act of God, God uh, multiplies their languages, right? Uh, they feel confused. They are not able to communicate one with, one with another. And, they, and then they spread, right? They start spreading all over the face of the earth. Then, uh, you know, we have a sequence of that until Abraham, right? Abraham is called. Then uh, we're going to read about the life of Abraham and then the life of the other patriarchs. Right? Uh, you know, this, uh, in this first moment, until, fr from Adam until uh, Moses, which is, gonna, uh, which is gonna be mentioned in the book of Exodus, from Adam, or Adam as you wish, from Adam until Moses, particularly the Mount of Sinai when Moses establishes the, the law, right? From Moses, sorry, sorry, from Adam until Moses, we have the first dispensation, Eric. What is that? Dispensation. Yeah. Dispensation is a period of time uh, through which God uh, relates to mankind in a specific way, right? So we have this first dispensation here from Adam until Moses in the Mount of Sinai, when the, when the Old Covenant is established between God, Israel, and Moses, correct? Right. And then, well, uh, we had uh, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, uh, and then you have the 12 children, the 12 sons, uh, sorry, the tw yeah, the 12 children of Jacob, of Israel, right? Uh, such as Joseph, for example, Joseph is very important. He is, uh, you know, the prince of Egypt, right? Uh, actually, he is the governor. Sorry, let me correct the term. Joseph is the governor, you know, he becomes governor in Egypt, and then he dies, and then 400 years passes, uh, Egypt, uh, Egyptians start to enslave uh, the Israelites, the Hebrews, right? And uh, then you have Moses sent... Uh, to Egypt, he uh, sets the people of Israel free from Egypt. They go to the wilderness. They establish the uh, the, the law, right? The, the the covenant on Mount Sinai, right? Then we have the first dispensation. The second dispensation go. Sorry, the second dispensation goes from uh, Moses on Mount Sinai until Jesus Christ. Right? This is the dispensation of the law. So these are the days uh, during which the law is going to uh, preside, is going to guide uh, Israel, the people of Israel. So from Moses on Mount Sinai until Jesus, we have the second, we have the second dispensation that is the dispensation of the law. Right? From Jesus until right now, we have the dispensation of grace or the church dispensation, right? Then after uh, the dispensation of grace ceases, we're going to have the millennium kingdom, right? And then after the millennium kingdom ceases, we're going to have eternity, right? So basically this, um, <coughs> sorry, uh, this is basically um, an overview of the dispensations in the Bible, Right? So, it's your duty from today on to start reading the Bible. 
my advice to you is start reading the, the New Testament. It is easier and it has more uh, revelation, more spiritual revelation. Once you finish a good and uh, and a good and efficient reading of the of the New Testament, then you go back to the Old Testament and you're gonna read there how uh, things point to Jesus. And, and from this perspective, you are going to understand the Old Testament properly. Okay. So as I told you, we have the Age of Law, the regime of the law. Right. This is uh, mentioned by Romans chapter five verses three. Uh, sorry, verses 13 and 14. We also have Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, 20, saying that, right? The law, as I said, goes from the book of Ex Exodus until Malachi, right? Uh, right. Basically, from Exodus until Malachi, you're going to have the entire history of the nation of Israel, from its birth to the arrival of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. This is what we read in John uh, chapter 1, verse 17. Let's read it there. Uh, let me see here. I was not ready for that. My, my apologies. Online Bible. Let's go there and read John chapter 1, verse 17. And it says... For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Perfect. So, uh, during this time of the law, guys, we're also going to have the small prophets or the minor prophets and the great prophets. Okay? We're going to see the history of the nation of Israel and its subdivisions. Let me give you uh, a brief overview here. So, we have... First, the departure of the children of Israel from Egypt, Exodus 12, right? Then we have the institution of Israel as a theocratic nation on Mount Sinai, Exodus chapter 19, right? Israel sojourns uh, on, the, on the desert, on, at Sinai, sorry, uh, on the desert for two years, and then they depart to the promised land. Right? And that pilgrimage lasted 40 years. This is what we read about in the book of Numbers. Right? Then um, Moses dies and Joshua assumes Mo uh, Mo Moses' position as the leader of Israel. And they enter after uh, overcoming some peoples uh, along the way such as Jericho, such as the people of Jericho, the city of Jericho, for example, after overcoming these enemies, uh, they're going to enter into the promised land. Um, right after that, we have the period of the judges, right? Uh, among the judges, we have, for example, uh, Samson, right? The strong guy. And we, have, uh, we also have uh, female judges, Right, such as Deborah, for example. And after the judge, I mean, the last judge was Samuel. Then we have the book of Samuel. We have the beginning of, uh, of the kingship, right? The first king uh, is described there in the book of, Saul, uh, of Samuel, sorry. <laughs> uh, the first king of Israel, Saul, uh, is described there, is, uh, is mentioned there in the book of Samuel, first Samuel. Right then, we're we're gonna have King David, right? Uh, and the history of the kings is described in the books of First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, and First and Second Chronicles. They are basically gonna describe most of the time the same events, but from a different perspective. And now, if you haven't uh, watched our class on the differences between Bible, Scripture, and God's Word, or Word of God, then you should go back to this video and watch it again, right? Because here we're going to see clear uh, indication that these are historical books that contain the revelation of God, oh yeah, but, you know, they have their uh, contradictions and so on, but they point to Jesus. This is the reason why they have uh, been written, right? Uh, then, you know, we have the United Kingdom, 
through Saul, David, and, and David's son, Solomon, right? Then the kingdom is divided. We have the, the kingdom of Judah and then Israel, southern kingdom and northern kingdom, with headquarters in Jerusalem and Samaria, respectively, okay? okay? Then we have the division of the kingdom in the time of Roboam, son of Solomon, right? Uh, we have the period of the prophets, right? You're going you're gonna to hear about the prophets of Judah and the prophets of Israel. We then have, uh, due to the disobedience of Israel to the law of Moses, we have the great, the two great captivities, right? Uh, Judah and Israel to Babylon and Assyria, respectively. Here we have a mistake. Let me correct it here. Just a minute. Oops. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, but let me find it again. Great captivities. Right. Okay, let me save it. Okay, so we have the two great captivities, right? And then, after a while, we have after, I mean, we have uh, many uh, prophets that are going to be describing the reality of these captivities, right? And also, we're going to have the, the prophets post captivity, the post-captivity prophets, which are Ezra, Nehemiah, then we have Esther, right, Zechariah, Malachi, and so on, right? So this is an overview of the Old Testament, right? I try to do it as quickly as I could. Uh, our goal here is not to make these videos a history course. No, that's not the goal. But uh, you must have an understanding, at least a um, you know, a general understanding of the uh, of the history uh, of the Old Testament of the Old Testament panorama or overview. Okay, it's very important. It's essential, actually, and I hope you have understood that. So, start reading the Bible from now on. We're going to uh, dive into the Old Testament and analyze details of the Old Testament that will point to spiritual realities and truths in Jesus Christ in the New Testament, right? Thank you so much for your attention and see you in our next video.